Rich. Hey, John. What you got there? Oh, I'm getting ready to uh, to get my demo equipment together. I'm going to do a demonstration uh, using the S7 1500 PLC and the S120 uh, Siemens Cinematic Drives. Have you not heard? What's that? Cinematic Drive Controller. Really? What's that all about? It's a tech CPU, safety tech CPU, and a uh, drive controller all built in one unit. So this guy and this guy in one piece of hardware. One package, yep. Nice. Now you said an interesting term. You said an S7 1500 T CPU. Correct. Uh, T standing for technology. Correct. Uh, why would I need a technology CPU versus a, a standard or a non-technology based CPU? Technology CPU is for extended motion control. Uh, if you're doing any kind of uh, absolute gearing or uh, any kinematics, um, things of that nature. Okay, so if I'm something, doing something that would be like absolute based, right? So if I'm, if I'm, if I'm doing that absolute gearing absolute or gearing. camming, I, I need correct. that absolute position, camming. that's where T comes in. Correct. Gotcha, correct. gotcha. Because a standard S7-1500 without technology can do motion control, but it'll be relative gearing or relative single axis positioning, correct? Correct. Yep. Okay, all right, gotcha. Um, I'm pretty sure there's safety capabilities in this guy, correct? It is. The only variance that uh, they have in the Cinematic Drive Controller, there are two versions. Um, both are technology CPUs and both are the fail-safe processors, um, so both safety controllers. Um, it's mainly in the, the, the axis cone and the size um, of the controller and the, uh, the PLC itself. Okay, but otherwise consistent capabilities as far as their overall functionality. Correct. So yep. more, more horsepower in one versus the other. Correct. Okay. Yep. Uh, Siemens has for a long time had a product called Simotion, and the Simotion D controller looked a lot like this too. What are the differences between deploying this and Simotion? Uh, Simotion is still for the, the very high end applications. Um, the Simatic Drive controller, it is uh, programmed in TIA Portal, which the Simotion controller was not. Um, but you still can get the, uh, the benefits that you got out of Simotion, the, the level above the, uh, the standard uh, PLC. So it is the technical CPU. The, the tech CPU is what uh, would be the equivalent of the Simotion controller. Okay, so in the Simotion world, you know, I was, I was using a, a, a tool outside of the TIA portal program at Scout. Right. But with this, everything, all the programming, motion profiles, hardware configuration, everything is done in the TIA portal correct. software. Just, just like if you were programming the 1500 PLC, correct? Correct. Okay. I don't recall the Simotion controller having um, safety capabilities built into it from a safety PLC perspective. Is that accurate? That's correct. It could be used with a safety PLC um, but the PLC was what was doing the safety portion, so okay. that's correct. So motion did not support that. Okay, so so all around, whether we're whether we're comparing the the drive controller to a separate uh, control unit and PLC, or if we're con comparing it to the Simotion D controller, there's benefits and, and extended capabilities whether you look at it either way. Correct. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, I was looking at this earlier, and I noticed that there was five ethernet ports on that guy. What, what's going on there? What, what can this thing do? Um, it's got three separate ethernet, uh, Profinet networks. Um, one of them is a three port uh, Profinet switch. Um, another one is a uh, second Profinet. And then a third one is uh, a, a lower level of uh, Profinet. But there are three distinct, three separate IP addresses. Wow, three Ethernet network interfaces on board Correct. that device. Yep. Wow, that, 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 that could be a lot of hardware, right? You know, other, I see other solutions on the market where you're, you're adding more Ethernet cards to the rack to try and get more IP addresses so you can segregate your communications, and, and that's got three of them on board. Right. Wow, yep. that's, uh, that's pretty significant. Um, what about when it comes to, so, so you know, obviously this, this CPU has the capability of handling a certain number of axes and has so many resources as far as its motion control capabilities. If I need to uh, ex extend beyond that, I need to, maybe I need to double it, I need to triple it, can I still synchronize axes across the controllers? You can. Um, the, the S7 1504D is equivalent to, say, a 1516 tech uh, processor. Um, which would handle a certain number of axes, and then the 1507 variant handles quite a bit more than that. 
or okay. the drive cone. Okay, and even if I have multiple drive controllers, I can I can also synchronize across those drive controllers as well. Multiple correct? drive controllers, multiple uh, 1500 CPUs of any kind, yeah. Okay, well, well I, I see a lot of efficiencies being put in place here where I can, I can eliminate some hardware, put it all in one device, and, uh, and then really just kind of combine you know, the solution. I, I see a lot of applications in the market where I might open a control cabinet and I just see a CPU and all of the IO and drives are distributed across the network. Uh, so it's just that lonesome CPU. Well, now I can take and put that CPU inside of my drive controller, eliminate that piece of hardware and, and make things even smaller for my, for my space needs in my control panel. Right, and that can all, all the other I.O. cannot be in the remote I.O. enclosures or in the low voltage sections of your cabinet. So I guess that's a good point. Typically, these control units mount right next to the drive systems. And, you know, you hear a lot about arc flash and you want to get, you know, the, 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 the low voltage separated from the high voltage so that we don't have to suit up when we open up that, that enclosure. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I physically locate this away from the drives themselves? Yep, it just hangs on a, a Profinet node. Um, so yeah, you can you can put it as far away as you need to. Okay. Low voltage cabinet. So I could have a low voltage cabinet with this in it. My drives could sit in a separate cabinet. Correct. Yeah. Outstanding. Okay. All right. Well, thanks a lot for your help. Yeah. Thanks, Rich.